I won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a vote and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal parts about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret code, 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 Science can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Science can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal parts about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret code. Where'd you go? I'm super chick. Take that, take that. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? Take that. Um, take that. That's it. <laughs> gotcha, Spheranoid. I got you, Spheranoid. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Gotcha, Spheranoid. I got you, Spheranoid. Hmm. How did you manage to do this? Uh, playing on the ship's computer. It wouldn't even be so bad if it were an intelligent game like chess, for example. But pretending to be some space guardian to save the ship from evil spheroids It's just silly. Uh, maybe you just have to turn it off and turn it on again. Under no circumstances, the ship's computer manages the flow of air and other critical life support systems. We cannot turn off the power. Well, in that case, let me help you, um, fix it. Are you any good with computers? No. Then please don't distract me, my impudent game-playing little friend. Attention, a spheroid has been discovered on board. Now, what kind of glitch, pardon me, is that? Activating Space Guardian. I thought I asked you not to bother me. Why are you wearing a spacesuit? Gotcha, Spheranoid. <laughs> Today's average temperature is minus 20. Atmosphere. Chico, Chico, listen. The computer has gone bonkers. You're in danger. They got me. You're our only hope now. <laughs> Fix the computer. But I don't know how to fix it. With the help of future technology, I will transfer my abilities to you. The brain is responsible for all our actions. For example, when I play badminton, the brain cells responsible for this skill are active. And when I use a computer, other ones become active. So now, let's imagine that I want to pass on my knowledge of working on computers to you. The traditional method would be very long lectures where I explain and show you how it works. But there is another way to educate your brain directly. In order for this method to work, we first need to determine which neurons in my brain are responsible for this given ability. To do this, we'll need an electroencephalogram, or an EEG. Every neuron in our brain is like a small battery. To see this, all we need to do is an insert a microelectrode into the cell and measure the voltage with the voltometer. When the cell is inactive, its voltage doesn't change and is consistent throughout, near minus 0.07 kilovolts. But as soon as the cell is active and begins working, or as scientists say, is stimulated, the cell's battery voltage changes entirely. Along its longest appendage, the axon, an electric impulse travels at the speed of 100 meters per second to other nerve cells. Hey, wake up. 
something's happened. This electric impulse is called a neural impulse. In order to see how the brain works, we can't possibly insert electrodes into every nerve cell. There are billions of them after all. In order to do this, they attach around 10 electrodes to the head and measure the voltage between them, which is called an electroencephalogram, or for short, an EEG. The first EEG was produced by Russian scientist Vladimir Pravdich Neminsky in 1913. With the help of an EEG, we can see which parts of the brain are responsible for computer skills. But how will we connect you to this thing? You're, uh, in your... For that, there is no need, my friend. Not long ago, I already made an EEG of my brain and uploaded its data about my skills to Spheroscope. For my descendants, you could say. I am confident that Spheroscope can transfer these skills to you. It's located in my cabin. Get to Spheroscope and... Ah. Gotcha, Spheroid. Gotcha, Spheroid. Gotcha, Spheroid. Gotcha, Spheroid. Spheroscope! Spheroscope! Doko said that y you can transfer his skills to me. Welcome, user. You have put on the skills transfer device. Origin Carrier, User Doko. Please select Skill. Uh, repairing computers. Skill located. Listen to the instructions. Instructions? In order to transfer the skills to you, it will be necessary to stimulate the cells of your brain. This operation will be conducted with the use of electricity. Electricity? N nobody told me about this. This is called electrical stimulation. A short interval pulse of electrical current activates the nerve cell. At first, the thickest part of the nerve cell, the cytosome, activates, from which the stimulation quickly spreads along the longest appendage, the axon. Stop, stop. Are you going to put batteries into my brain? Incorrect. In order to stimulate the neurons, Deep in your brain, an electromagnetic impulse is used. Attention! In order to preserve the skill, please do not remove the device under any circumstances. Loading commences in 3, 2, 1. Gotcha, Spheranoid. He's over there, Spheranoid. <laughs> gotcha, Spheranoid. Gotcha, Spheranoid. Gotcha, Spheranoid. Chico? Gotcha, Spheranoid. <gasps> Ha <laughs> ha
It's as thick as pea soup. Chico! Chico! My friend! You need to get to the computer! <laughs> Nap job! Warning, a spheroid has been detected on the bridge. A spheroid is on the bridge. Ah, okay, I see. Hmm, the circuit board is fried. Connect these transistors. Well, that should, that should do it. Gotcha, Let me go, you scrap heap! D Doco, what should I do with this green thing? I insert the interface panel into uh, the right slot. Insert into a slot? Insert the board into the slot? What does that mean? Gotcha, Spheranoid. Gotcha, Spheranoid. <laughs> gotcha, Spheranoid. A very wise decision. All these shooter games can't teach you anything except violence. Come join us instead. Your turn, my empty friend. Gotcha, Spheranoid. <laughs> <laughs> 